Is nearly at hand. A great wrong will be righted, an ancient prophecy fulfilled, and a hero of legend will arise. Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, alien invaders, do they exist? I'm Veronica Stone, and for 42 of the next 60 minutes, we'll be in quest for aliens. Bigfoot. These humans will believe anything. Not anything, Crypto. But after two turbulent decades, many of them are finally ready to believe in us. That makes them more dangerous than ever. You know, Poxy, old pal, sometimes you can be a real bummer. Oh? I wonder if that could have anything to do with my no longer having a body! Boo-hoo! I'm a hologram. You know, that crap was sad for the first five years or so, but now it's starting to get on my nerves. I suppose that explains your lackluster productivity of late. I think you're going native. I warn you, Crypto, you have become too invested in your life among these humans. What invested? I'm just running a little business on the side. Now what's wrong with making a little cash? Oh, I am sure Lord and Master Emperor Meningitis, the supreme ruler of the Furon Empire, will understand you setting aside your duty to collect Furon DNA from human brain stems. How about I cut you in for 5%? Done. Back to business! It seems your... Our financial success has made us enemies on the strip. I got a spy going through our files. Murray! You ain't getting crap out of me. Murray, Murray, I have so many ways to get crap out of you, you wouldn't believe it. But this is new shag. Why don't you spill your guts before I do? He's not going to talk willingly, but his thoughts will betray him. Quickly, read his mind. <laughs> Remember that time I tried to remember what it was I couldn't remember? Remember? Fat! His puny brains are all scrambled. Try scanning him again. Farrah felt the fuzzy ferret. Farrah felt the fuzzy ferret. Farrah felt the fuzzy ferret. Islands it is. Throw him into the walls. Pound the information out of him. Great idea, Pox. What would I do without you? Son of a... <laughs> what do you think of that, traitor? Have you think you're tough, space midget? You got nothing. Like yeah! it. Ow! It's going to take a stronger method of persuasion. Use your zapomatic to get this monkey's tongue wagging. Come here, Murray. This'll only sing for a moment. Give up yet, monkey? Not even a... <laughs> Squeal like a pig. Who hired you? Vinny and Mikey Molinari from the Nero's Palazzo Casino. What are they looking for? Plans, drawings. They think you're opening some kind of alien-themed resort to bring in a family crowd. No one tells me what to do with my joint. Family-oriented casinos? Puh, I hate kids. They're too smart to gamble. Wait! 
This idea has potential. Gambling for the parents, clowns and jousting knights for the kiddies. It would quadruple our DNA harvest! And our bank accounts. These Molinari sucks are trying to break my rice bowl. Which is 5% my rice bowl. We must end the Molinari brothers' monopoly in Paradiso. Crypto, the time has come to get back out there. And destroy all humans! Golly, thanks for the permission slip, Poxy. The Molinary Brothers' goons are heading our way, Crypto. Defend the space dust! Should I zap them one by one, or just fire them all in a spectacular display of your own opinion? <laughs> Righteous! It's working so far, ain't it? That is the game. The monkeys shake their booties! You did it, Crypto! Ah! Let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here! I could get around a lot easier if I had my jet pack. What's the hold up? Quality takes time, Crypto. As it happens, I have just completed upgrading your jetpack. Does it make far out sounds like in the cartoons on TV? No, I admitted the silly sounds in favor of performance upgrades. Your new jetpack has more maneuverability and greater thrust than ever before. I like the silly sound. If you went any slower, we'd be traveling backwards in time. Keep your pants on. Oh, wait. You don't have pants. <laughs> you don't have legs. Crypto, I have something for you. Fire and forget multi-round heat-seeking anal probes. Ah, this'll definitely shake some booty. Give your new anal probe a try. You may now target multiple humans, or target each human with multiple probe. Nero's Palazzo. It's time to take the fight to the Molinaris.
If we're ever going to defuse this situation, we need to strike at the heart of the Molineris. Hey, Parks, why don't we just make nice with the mobsters? What a load of hippie nonsense! If we don't fight them over here, we'll have to fight them back at home! So, Pox, I've been waiting for the generic shield tutorial. When are you gonna hit me with some random damage so we can watch my shield bar recharge? Please, Crypto. I've long since abandoned such childish behavior. Well, that's a change. It's not like you to skip any opportunity to smack me around. You're right! There! Uh, now do you feel better? you... God... What's going on at this god-awful, gaudy monument to Molinari vanity? Sounds like a good time. Get past the Molinari security by posing as a human. <laughs> My mind says Jane Fonda, but my body says Patty Hearst. Well, body snatched your victim with his energy, which, if unchecked, will result in there. Bummer. Is there any way I can prevent this horrible, unspeakable fate? You can cortex scan other humans to refill your victim's energy, and of course to read their hidden thoughts. Which I mostly Is this where I might find and utterly destroy the humans known as the Molinari Brothers? I mean, uh, gamble away my kid's college fund? Why, yes, yes it is. Please enter and enjoy the splendor of Nero's Palazzo. Yeesh. It's 1957 in here. I can see why these Molinaris are worried. Never mind that. Hey, Get rid of the gamblers. A million dollars? Piece of cake. Most days I do more damage than that before breakfast. Thanks for your generous donation to... Destroy the slot machines, oh, the table oh, are gone. Run away! The casino's on fire! You're just jive talking. Go home! Your luck's running cold! Don't forget to look right now! The downer of being in droves! Nobody's sticking in the whole enemy's crypto! Keep it up! This place is bumming me out. The dealers are cheap! Never treated like this with the space dust. The drinks just fire. What a ah. you just doing your thing. The dealer here cheats so bad that he makes even a couple for him. Excellent! They'll never return! I've had fun now. Well, I'm off the floor ten seconds and the place comes apart. What the hell happened here? I happen. Hey, I know you. Get that midget from the space dust. Nice Halloween costume. <laughs> you sure you're old enough to I drink? I gave the stuff up, but I like the sound it makes when I pour it on garbage. Well, little guy, you got big balls, I'll give you that. But this is my town, and nobody's gonna change it while I'm around. You got that? Hey. Okay, space midget. Let's dance. What's that, a ray gun? This is the Orthopox AP-77 Anal Probe. It can cause extreme irritable bowel syndrome, if you feel lucky. Anal Probe? I'm gonna beat you back to Bay City. 
Forget about it! You drive away my customers, humiliate me in my place of business, insult my brother's hindquarters! Today, the Molinaris declare war on the space dust! I've just intercepted a call from the Molinaries to their outfit back east. It seems they've sent hitters to whack you. Hmm, I see you're learning the lingo. 5% is 5%. If we let these mafia hoodlums come after us, they'll bring unwanted government attention to our DNA gathering operations. I've discovered that they're having a sit-down outside of Paradiso. Great. Accident. Maybe you, you forgot that my saucer hasn't moved in five years since my little... Yeah, but I got drunk on accident. Anyway, I'm not running out to the edge of town like Bruce Jenner. I'll blow out a lung. No need for that, dear boy. I've got something special prepared for you. Wow, would you look at this? So that's what you've been doing all those hours, locked in your room alone. Uh, uh, yes! That is what I was doing. <laughs> well, hee-haw! I'm so happy I, I'm both a picking and a grinning. <laughs> what you do? I was in such a rush that I'm afraid the saucer is not quite fully operational. All I want to know is, can I blow things up? Death Ray still comes standard, of course. But until I can boost its power level, you will not be able to bring down large structures. Don't tell me the 8-tracks broke, because I can't ride without my tunes. Worse, actually. Some weapons are missing necessary components. Fine, fine. Give me a half-baked flying saucer. Hell, give me a leaky pinto. Give me a rusty pogo stick. I'm still more than a match for these dime store hoods. That's the spirit. Now, let's get out there and grease those greasers. Tight handling, smooth ride, fine Corinthian leather. Try the lateral and vertical controls. Left, right, backwards, forwards, up, down. Geez, you sound like Jack LaLanne. Destroy as many mobster automobiles as you can before they reach the diner. Gotcha. Let's try this baby out for real. Crypto! I've modified your abduction beam as well. You can now abduct scores of humans simultaneously for instant DNA processing. It sucks better than new. You need to use your abducto beam's drain ability to repair the saucer. device 
should keep these pesky humans from trying to blast you out of the sky. Now you see me, now you don't. Nice limo. That must be one of the bosses. <laughs> Say Ariva Derchi, Don Goomba. Wait! If we kill him now, we will only bring more unwanted attention. Convince them there's no threat and Paradiso is ours. Use your abducto beam on the Dawn's vehicle. Take it to a safe location and body snatch its iniquitous inhabitant. Got him. Good. Now take him to a remote area. suit no no time to dawn the dawn ah! Ah! now body snatch the dawn crypto <laughs> quickly get to the diner and remember you're a jowly mediterranean racketeer other oh, box Arthur Box, is this how you show me respect? I'm rolling the digital visual receptors that simulate what used to be my eyes. Don Straniero, I regret that I must ask you for the password. Password? Is this how you offer respect? I'm sorry, Don Straniero, but it's business. You understand. Out of respect for you, I won't splatter your brains all over the desert. Password? One of the nearby mobsters must know it. Look for a mobster with something on his mind and Cortex scan him. Corn beef sandwich, corn beef sandwich! Corned beef sandwich. Not very. Corned beef sandwich. Corned beef sandwich. Corned beef sandwich. Corned beef sandwich. Don Straniero, I regret that I must ask you for the password. Corned beef sandwich. They're waiting for you inside, Don Straniero. We are talking about the end of business as we know it. Paradiso will be dead. Well, I think we're all convinced. We destroy the space dust. Is everyone in agreement? No! Ah, Don Striniero. How nice of you to join our little gathering. Come now. What is troubling you this day? It is my belief that Mikey may no longer be of sound mind. We've all got our eccentricities, Don Strignano. How are Mikey's any different? He believes in the supernatural. So many of us do, but these eccentricities... How are Mikey's any different? He fraternizes with working girls and, and gambles at his own tables. So many of us do, but these eccentricities... How are Mikey's any different? He thinks the owner of the space dust is one of those... It pains me to say it. Omini Verdi Piccoli. Extraterrestrial beings. That's a dirty lie. Don Straniero, what's getting into you? 
these accusations. Surely you have proof. Is not the word of your godfather enough? You think that my love will Tell us, what should be the punishment for this crime? I say that on this day, the five families should turn their backs on the Molinaris and allow Mikey to deal with his little green man from another world on his own time. Don't listen to him! He's working with the alien! You've wasted our time, Mikey. We are patient men. But not too patient. Don't bother us again with your fairy stories. You used to be my godfather. You are dead to me now. Jeez, these guys sure take family serious.